हेलो स्टूडेंट फ्रेंड्स आई एम बोर्डिकर चेतन फ्रॉम एन बी मेहता साइंस कॉलेज बोर्डी एंड टुडे विल स्टडी अबाउट सिंथेसिस ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so today we'll start a topic of synthesis of organic compound so first we'll try and understand what do we mean by synthesis of an organic compound so it is a process of designing an organic molecule which can be either natural or synthetic so it is a process of designing an organic molecule from a target molecule or a starting material by making use of simple principles of organic chemistry suppose if we are given an opportunity to synthesize a product x then there are many criteria on which we have to focus but in this case we'll focus on the four main criteria in order to synthesize the product x so first is starting material the starting material or the target molecule should be easily available and it should be available at the low cost second criteria is steps involved so the number of steps involved should be very less as the number of steps increases the efficiency of product goes on decreasing third is cost effectiveness it should be cost effective with respect to chemical substance used in the operational procedures and last about by product the reaction should give minimum by product which in turn reduces the efficiency of the reaction if more amount of by product is formed then yield of the reaction goes on decreasing next topic is yield of the reaction so it tells us about that how much amount of reactant gets converted into product and it is generally calculated in terms of percentage so we write it as percentage yield by using simple formula that is practical yield upon theoretical yield theoretical yield into 100 it gives us idea about the percentage yield that is how much amount of reactant gets converted into product but first we need to understand what is theoretical yield and what is practical yield then only we can understand the meaning of percentage yield 
in order to understand this in a simplest way i'll consider one simple conversion so here first i'll take acetanilide that is benzene ring containing nh co ch3 now this acetanilide when it is treated with bromine that is br2 in presence of acetic acid it gives us para bromo acetanilide over here this is acetanilide nh co ch3 this position is ortho meta this is ortho and this is meta in this position we call it as para so over here there is bromine so this one hydrogen and one bromine is eliminated so it gives us hbr so we say that acetanilide gives para bromo acetanilide now we'll try to calculate its molecular weight over here there are 6 carbon 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 7 and 8 so see 8 how many hydrogen 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 3 9 9 hydrogen atom one nitrogen atom and one oxygen atom one nitrogen atom one oxygen atom carbon atomic weight is 12 there are eight carbon 12 is 96 hydrogen weight is 1 and there are nine hydrogen atom so it is 9 nitrogen 14 and one nitrogen atom which is equal to 14 oxygen 16 and over here 1 so it is 16 in the 16 overall it is equal to 10 19 25 2 9 10 11 12 13 so it is 135 in same way you can also calculate molecular weight of this para bromo acetanilide so its molecular weight is 135 and its molecular weight is around about 214 now over here along with this one more condition is given that is 1 g of acetanilide gives 1.268 gram of para bromo acetanilide now we have whatever amount of product is obtained so this product we call it as practical yield fine Now, what part is remaining? Only theoretical end. Now, how will we calculate theoretical end? So we go. So we say that acetanilide. How many gram of acetanilide? First, I'll say acetanilide. Yes. para bromo acetanilide we say that 135 g of acetanilide produces 214 g of para bromo acetanilide 1 g of acetanilide then how much amount of para bromo acetanilide is expected so 1 into 214 divided by 135 so this amount will give us theoretical value of so its answer is 1.585 so this we call it as theoretical yield now how will we calculate percentage yield by using simple formula that is practical yield upon theoretical yield practical yield is 1.2 Six eight upon theoretical two hundred. 
so it is 81.13 percentage so this we call it as yield of reaction that is 81.13 percent of reactant gets converted into product